Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Um, today I'm bringing you a video that is a little different. It's a resin geode I'm going to be making. Um, it possibly will be in a couple different steps, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm going to start off today and I'm going to show you what I got, which is really cool. It's this geode cutout. It has layers and this is by V Art Products. I will put the link in the description box. Um, but this is really cool. It's a round MDF, piece of MDF that she or he cuts out to a geode and there's different ones you can get. I chose this one um, and I spray painted it white. Let me just put this aside for a minute. I'm going to be using a bunch of different things today. First off, I'm going to be using um, KS resin. This is a two-part resin. Um, I do have a link to um, a coupon code below. So if you want to click on that and you want to try some resin, go ahead. Um, you get like 10% off, I think. Um, this is one of my favorite resins. It just goes on really nicely. It's really clear, left not too many bubbles. Um, really pretty finish. Easy to work with. One to one ratio. Just follow the directions. You need your respirator. Um, I got this a long time ago and I will be wearing it when I'm heating up the resin. You probably should use it all the time, but for the video, I'm going to be using it when I heat it up. I have some crystals, these are like pinkish, so the color scheme is going to be pink, white, silver, or pink, white, gold. Um, maybe a little lavender, because um, I do have some purple stones, I'm just not sure what I'm going to be using. I have this really cool piece of crystal that I got, got it a while ago with the intents of using it and I have not used it yet, but it's really pretty, right? So I'm gonna be, this is gonna be probably like a centerpiece. I have some pink um, clear crystals. I have some cut glass. Um, I have some like, pieces of stone and shells. I'm gonna be using some of those. I have pink stones. Um, all of these, I gotten over the years um some of them from amazon if i do find the links i will link them below for the things that i did get on amazon but a lot of them i got at michael's um this is like a big base filler that's where i used most of it um yeah but all of this i purchased locally or on amazon um all right so first things first um, the first part of this is for me to glue any um, stones like the, this piece. I'm going to hot glue it to the MDF um, and anything that I want um, to stay secured. And then I'm going to add the resin. I'm going to put clear resin on top. So, um, like I said, this may be two steps, but I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how it goes today. All right. And um, I'm going to get my table set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so got my table all set up and I'm going to start by adding my stones with my hot glue. Um, this is going to be like more of the, the centerpiece. Um, let's see if you can see that good. Um, it is really pretty. So I'm going to find a place where I think it works the best. Probably like right, right there. And I'm going to hot glue it. This mini hot glue gun. I wish I had a large one. Now you gotta remember if you don't have to be you know crazy crazy in there um, but just push it down okay all right so start 
starting off. All right. So next, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some stones all around here, and like I said, it's gonna be pinks and whites. So I'm gonna add a little bit of crystals first. So I'm just gonna put down some glue. strings from the hot glue, but that's okay. All right, and I will speed this up as I go, but I just want to show you how I'm starting it. I start in from the center. These are big chunks. And these were, I had another video where I did a um, mixed media piece and I explained how I got these. Um, my glass, brand new glass shower door cracked in a million pieces. Um, so, oh, it's stuck. Oh, see, my paint's not even really dry yet. Spray paint is still a little tacky. All right, and the pink. So I'm just gonna put a little hot glue down here. And add some of these pink stones. And it's okay if they're sticking out. This to look like a rock. Put one in the holes.
And yes, the hot glue is hot. <laughs> That's okay. And if you need to, you can use, this would probably be easier for me to get in there. sure about this one yet. So I'm gonna, probably that's probably enough. Looks better. I'm gonna put some pink here. Alright, so I'm gonna put some pink stones over here. because it's like it's natural I don't want it to look too forced if that makes sense Let's move on to the, I'm just going to do a little bit, I'm just going to show you guys these, we're going to stand up, okay? So I'm going to put the hot glue on there, and stand it in, and I want them to kind of be all, let's see different sizes. Good. Like that. We'll do some on this end. Maybe another one over here. Maybe one over here. No. So in here. Oh gosh, what I'm doing? Because I didn't let this totally dry. I have some clear. I'm gonna put around here. So far so good. All right. So I'm going to put some clear in here. It's easier for me to pour them 
and then I don't burn myself. Pretty. All right. So then I have some pink and silver mixed up. I'm just going to add a little of that right through here. Something in there is what it's supposed to be in there. Now it's stuck to my fingers. See, I hate hot glue. All right. That's all right. There, that's good. That's good. Okay. okay and then I'm going to put some more of these up in here. in my head of what I want this to look like. So we'll see. I think I need in there a little of the mix. Yeah. That's kind of it. For, that's so. That's my center. Um, I'm just picking out some of the things. So I'm gonna go around because I do see some holes, and I'm just gonna fill in some of the holes. But uh, it looks good. All right, and I'll come back, and I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go around this edge with crystals. Um, and I'll speed that up for you because there's no need for you to sit here and watch me do everything. You get the idea. But for the main part, I did the the center, and it looks cool, very sparkly. All right, so let me get cleaned up a little bit here, and I will get the rest of this filled in.
Okay. So, um, you saw me lay down the rest of my stones. Um, I think this looks really pretty. Um, the colors are really pretty. So I put, I did end up putting a little of the lavender crystals in. Um, so I will probably put a little lavender in my stone. Um, and yeah, definitely. Um, and maybe, maybe just a tiny bit like of a, this bluish, like really, really light, light, light aqua. Consider, cause I put these in and that gives it a little greenish aqua color. So, um, so now there's some loose stones. That's okay. I'll um, hit that with some hot glue and then the resin obviously is going to hold everything on. Um, but it looks good. If you have any holes, just look around. Make sure you don't have too many big holes. Again, the resin is going to fill it in. Um, any strings from the hot glue. I'll tell you what, this doing this, I haven't used this hot glue gun in a long time. Obviously, it's so old. Um, but doing this really made me think that I'm going to get a nice hot glue gun because this one stinks. Um, I'm just going to go around and see if there's any other little spots I want to add some more crystals to. There might be. I might want to add some more ones that are sticking up here. But that's pretty much it for that part. Um, so, yeah. So, you get that done. You're going to put clear resin in here. Okay. And um, just to cover it and to hold it in. Honestly, it's not going to, you're going to still feel everything and you don't want it to come up over your lip. Well, until you're ready to do your other resin. But I think I'm going to do that part now and then we'll see. And then maybe I'll do the, the rest of it another day because I think I'm a little tired. All right. Um, but we'll be back and for the rest of it. Okay. There's a string. See? See this big piece of string I just pulled? Okay. Okay, I'm back. And I thought I turned the camera on and I didn't. Um, started putting my resin down. So I have a few different colors. I just put a little bit of rose gold around the edge there. Um, and I put the clear in the middle already. So... Uh, I did mix up 24 ounces, probably a little too much, might not be, I don't know, we'll see. But I, I have some different colors here. I'm going to use a little lavender, some light pink, gold, um, and white. And that's pretty much it, and then the, the rose gold, because um, I want this really light. So I'm going to speed it up so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just going to go around with lines lines, lines, and then I'm going to blow it out a little bit, okay? Okay, guys. I am finished. Um, my camera kept cutting out on me. I'm sorry. Um, but basically, I put my colors down. I blow it out. So this looks like an opal. And that's kind of what I had going in my head. I wanted it to be white and translucent. And I think I got it. I had did have to add more stones. So I did have to make this area a little bigger. But I, I'm really happy with it. And I added my stones in here and in here. And uh, it, you can't see what I see um, on camera. It's it's gorgeous. Um, so this is totally wet. I'm going to let it dry. And tomorrow, when it's all dry, um, I'll make sure that, you know, everything's okay with it. And um, I don't think I'm going to need to add anything, but... Who knows? You never know when something dries, if you find holes. But I'm going to, uh, I'll take it outside and I'll show you what it looks like in the sunshine because 
it is beautiful. Um, there's a little too much brown in it at one point, but I added more purple and pink and actually the white, which really helped it out. And like I said, you, it, on, on the camera, it does not look like what I see. So hold on and I will show you at the end.